Did you know that a method we use to track movement of some water exists because of nuclear weapons testing? Around 70% of the water that fills the Great Salt Lake is from three rivers. That water comes from rain and snowfall, and it takes anywhere from days to hours to reach the Great Salt Lake via those rivers. But then there's this whole other huge water source. Matthew De Laplante is a climate scientist and associate professor of journalism at Utah State University. And he's talking about groundwater, or water that filters into the earth. Which is the water that seeps into the mountains and the valleys and the marshes and everything else that's way up there. And it can stay there for months. It can stay there for years, it can stay there for decades, and it can stay there practically forever. So some water that falls from the sky ends up in the Great Salt Lake in a matter of days, while other drops can end up taking months, years, and even decades to make it to the lake. We know this because... Back in the 1950s and 1960s, the U.S. government in Nevada was testing nuclear bombs. And those nuclear bombs spread radiative fallout, radioactive dust, all across the western United States. But there's one substance called tr tritium. 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 It's a radioactive isotope that connects with water. And then when it goes underground, it's basically like a timestamp on that little molecule of water that says this molecule of water went underground at this time. Tritium has a half-life of a little over 12 years, which is a short enough time that we can measure it and differentiate it from one molecule to the other. Which is how hydrologists can measure how long it takes for a water molecule to get from the top of a mountain to a lake. And so if you kind of think about that in terms of like how long water takes to get from, well, where I am right now, which is in Brighton, Utah, about 30 miles away from the lake, that could take years and years and years. So our assumptions that like a really big winter, like the winter of 2023, is just going to fill the lake for that year isn't quite correct. 